Hello, my name is Michael Burke, and I want to welcome you to our Technical Analysis and Trade Station 101. This four video series is designed to get you more familiar with the basic concepts of technical analysis and how to use technical indicators within the Trade Station desktop platform. Session one here looks at the various Trade Station trading platforms web, mobile, and desktop. But this course will focus primarily on our flagship desktop trading platform. This first session will also cover the principles of basic candlestick charting in TradeStation. In session two, we'll examine some of the more popular trend identification indicators like moving averages, MACD, and momentum, and how they can be used in TradeStation. Session three covers overbought and oversold price channel oscillators. So these indicators can help identify market tops and bottoms. And finally, in session four, we'll look at the important concept of support and resistance using key price reversals and pivot highs and lows. But this course is only the beginning. Our technical analysis in TradeStation 201 is available in the Masterclass channel hosted here on You Can Trade. This course is taught live weekly every Tuesday, and there are many available archive sessions for you to tap into right away. So check it out with a free 14-day trial of Masterclass. Let's get started. This is technical analysis in TradeStation analysis platforms, and candlestick charting. Keep in mind that the following presentation is for educational purposes only. All of the symbols and trading ideas discussed are for educational purposes and are not recommendations. Active trading is not suitable for everybody. So the agenda today uh, in our time together, we'll be looking at uh, the TradeStation uh, trading and analysis platforms. I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of that. Jesus covers that much more in depth. Uh, I just want to touch on uh, those platforms that are available, talk a little bit about their features, and then we'll get into candlestick analysis. So one of the th great things about TradeStation is that whatever level you are in your trading, uh, wherever you are physically, um, there's a trading platform that is right for you. And uh, our flagship platform is the TradeStation desktop platform. This is the, this is the primary platform that's used on a, a PC. Uh, it can be used on Apple with, uh, the, with the Windows emulator. But this is the, the, the flagship platform. It allows you to uh, create custom analysis, backtest your trading ideas. It has a whole host of different data tools, including uh, fundamental information, news, time and sales, all of that kind of stuff built into one platform. And, and the analysis tools within that platform include charting, of course. Charting is the, probably the primary analysis tool that most traders use. So each of, the, each of the different trading platforms that TradeStation offers all have really great charting. But the desktop platform really takes that to the next level because easy language is built into every indicator that you can put into a chart, which allows you to customize that indicator or even build your own indicators. And then of course, in the desktop platform, we have one of the most amazing tools uh, in the entire industry, which is Radar Screen. So Radar Screen is a real-time scanning tool. Every row in Radar Screen is a chart. So you can apply the same technical indicators that you would apply <clears throat> on one symbol in a chart you can apply on up to a thousand symbols in radar screen, all in real time at any bar interval, any indicator that you would normally put into a chart. So that's just incredible. And it allows you to sort and rank a list of symbols based on a technical criteria. And it's, it's really an incredibly powerful tool. We also have uh, web trading. Uh, web trading is a browser-based TradeStation platform. It has a really great charting application with a number of built-in indicators. It has a, uh, a radar screen-like watch list that has, also has some interesting technical tools that you can put in, into that window. But it's, it's generally a, a tool that if you're on the road, you don't have access to your desktop platform, uh, maybe you're just maybe you're using a tablet or something like that. You can use the web uh, trading platform to look at your orders and positions. There's a trade manager. You can place orders. You can look at charts, and uh, it, it does. It's not as full featured as the desktop platform, of course. It doesn't have easy language, but um, it will certainly uh, get the job done if you if you're on the road and you don't have access to your desktop platform. 
We also have an incredibly highly, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So uh, we have really highly reviewed uh, iOS and Android uh, phone apps uh, for trade stations. So those mobile apps for trading uh, include uh, charting again. Uh, again, it's full feature charting. Doesn't have easy language, but you can, you know, you have intervals and indicators and drawing objects, and the, the charting on the web and mobile tools are is really in incredible. You have a watch list. Uh, you have the ability to place orders and track your positions, uh, all in the the mobile app. And so these are, if you look at, uh, if you go to the app stores, you, you'll see that these are highly rated. Um, they have great functionality, and our customers, our customers for the most part, really love the uh, the mobile tools. And we're always in, we're always improving all of these tools as well. So the as as time goes on, we add features, we add additional indicators, and of course, you can always give us feedback, and we take that feedback and uh, and, and try to um, accommodate those requests that that customers have. Uh, we also have our new TradeStation crypto platform, which is a web-based platform, but that is dedicated just to trading crypto. There are six coins that uh, you can trade on the TradeStation crypto platform, and uh, hey, we haven't really, we're not really going to cover that today um, at all. But you can certainly, you can certainly learn more about that on TradeStation.com. Uh, there's a resource page. There's a quick start guide. You can take a look at that. So if you're interested in crypto. Uh, we, we do have uh, our new TradeStation crypto platform. And it also has great charting and you can put indicators and that kind of thing. So this is the, the charting in the, uh, I, I have an iPhone. So this is the, a screenshot from my iPhone. Uh, you can build candlestick charts. You'll notice some of the icons there at the top of the chart. You can do drawing objects, add indicators, change the interval. You can look at pre and post market data. Anything you can do, any any symbol that you have access to on the desktop platform, whether it's stocks or futures or options, anything like that, um, you can you can view in a chart here. You'll notice at the bottom of the screenshot, uh, there's in the in the app in the mobile app, there's also access to news. Um, there's also access to uh, your your quote window matrix, even options. There's there's options functionality, option chains, and you can trade all of that right here in in the mobile app. This is the web trading uh, charting uh, application. So this is this is web trading. Now you log into TradeStation.com, and there's an icon that allows you to go straight to web trading. So you can look at this on a tablet, or if you're on the road, you don't have access to your desktop platform. You're borrowing somebody's computer that doesn't have TradeStation on it. By the way, if you are borrowing somebody's computer, um, you can download TradeStation, install it on their computer, and log into it there. So you can only and you don't have to worry about them looking at your account later on because only you can log into TradeStation. So it, just because TradeStation is installed on a computer somewhere doesn't give them access to your, your personal information. So you can install TradeStation anytime on any computer, log in um, and, and log out and, uh, and have access to TradeStation wherever there's a, a PC. Here in uh, web trading, again, we have... Um, we have really good charting here. You can change the interval, look at pre and post market data, add drawing objects. This is a PowerPoint slide right now, so I'm not going to actually work in, in this in this platform today. But there's lots of great videos where Jesus is showing you how to use uh, the web trading platform and the mobile platform. And, and we'll be adding some of those events also this month in June, so keep an eye out on the calendar for that. Um, and finally, uh, we have the TradeStation desktop platform. And of course, this is this is where um, most of our clients are doing their heavy lifting market analysis. Uh, the charting is uh, one of the best in the industry. We have uh, uh, access to custom uh, analytical tools with easy language. Everything in the desktop platform, all the analytical indicators that either go into chart or go into radar screen are written in easy language. Uh, so that you can open them up and see exactly how they're calculated. You can modify them. It gives you a lot of power and a lot of flexibility here. Um, we have incredible data here at TradeStation. The data in a chart, uh, depending on the symbol and the interval, can go back 10, 20, 30 years uh, with stocks and futures. 
most stocks we have going back to the day that they IPO'd from that day forward. Uh, we even have um, what we call obsolete stock symbols. So if you wanted to go back and look at, um, say, a stock like Pan Am that doesn't exist anymore, uh, you could actually bring up a symbol for Pan Am in the chart during that time frame, of course, uh, when it was trading, and look at that historical chart. So there's just incredible amount of data that you can tap into. I, I just recently did an event um, where we talked about multi-data analysis, uh, where you can add multiple symbols to the chart and base your analysis on uh, either the different symbols confirming each other or different time frames, different interval, multi and multi time frame analysis, all of that can be done uh, very easily in charting. And there's lots of great videos here in the Masterclass channel to help you to learn how to, to do and, and master all of those kinds of uh, analytical activities here in the chart. But today, we're going to talk about candlestick analysis. So for some of you that have joined a little bit late, um, Jesus Nava is uh, on leave for uh, the next three weeks, four weeks. And uh, we're gonna be filling in with him with a number of different types of events here in the masterclass on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm gonna be doing a uh, technical analysis and trade station event in his slots for Tuesdays and Thursdays, where we're gonna talk about different indicators and their use and their form inside of trade station. And on, on Wednesdays, uh, I'm going to uh, do a, uh, kind of an how to leverage easy language in TradeStation without doing any programming. Well, we might do a little bit of programming, but not, not any heavy lifting programming. So that um, easy language, even though uh, you may not want to learn how to program in easy language, um, there are still ways that you can leverage easy language inside of TradeStation. And so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing an event on Wednesdays for the next three or four weeks uh, talking about how you can leverage easy language uh, inside of uh, inside of TradeStation without any programming. So candlestick uh, analysis is just a different way of looking at the bars. It, it helps us better visualize what's happening on that bar. It, it highlights the different price points. So every every bar has four price points, right? It has an open, high, low, and close. And candlesticks just kind of tell us uh, at a glance what happened on, on each of those bars. And candlesticks are, are really built based on the relationship between the open and close of the bar. So that's the body of the candle. The, the big, thick part of the candle, that is the relationship between the open and close. And whether the close is higher than the open or whether the close is, is lower than the open. And then the wicks uh, of the candle represent the high and low of that candle. <clears throat> and we'll talk a little bit about what what all of those different visualizations mean to a trader here in the next slide. So in TradeStation, um, there are two candlestick styles that we'll talk about so that you understand how each of those two styles work. And, um, and you'll just pick one that you, that you like. Uh, and we have a classic candlestick and we have a, uh, a candlestick with trend. And I'll show you how those two work and we'll talk about uh, the mechanics of each of those as well. And um, also built into to TradeStation are a number of candlestick recognition tools. So built into uh, charting in the category of show me studies, there are about a dozen different uh, candlestick pattern show me's that you can apply to a chart and they will identify up to 24 different candlestick patterns. So each each of those studies usually is looking for two different patterns. Usually the bullish pattern, like for example, with engulfing, there's a bullish and a bearish engulfing. So you, you can apply that, you can apply that, that show me to the chart and it will identify both the bullish and engulfing patterns. And I'll show you how to use those. And I'll also show you how to use those in radar screen, which is a, an interesting visualization. And I'll, I'll show you that as well. I'm also gonna show you um, a custom candlestick recognition tool that I, I built uh, many years ago. And uh, I'll be sharing that. In fact, it's if you look in the chat, there's a link up there to a zip file. You can download that zip file and that will have uh, the workspace that I'm gonna show you here in a moment. And it will also uh, have my, my custom candlestick recognition so you can play with that as well.
All right, so let's talk about the analysis that's built into a candlestick. So here we're looking at the classic standard candlestick. A green body candle means that it was an up candle. In other words, the close is higher than the open. And a red candle simply means that the close is less than the open. Now, if you think about that from an analytical point of view, there are more buyers in a green candle than there are in a red candle. So the green candle represents buying, the red candle is gonna represent selling in the market. And then we have the wicks. So the wicks represent the highest point that that candle reached during that bar. And remember, this can be a one minute candle, it can be a five minute candle, it can be a daily, weekly, monthly candle, right? can be whatever bar interval you have in the chart. The chart makes the analysis. However you set up your chart, whatever symbol it is, whatever interval it is, that's the analysis that we're working with. So the wick at the top represents the highest point that the candle ever represented, but that also shows selling pressure, right? So if the market moved up to that high and then came back and closed here, what drove it back from that high down to here? It, it was selling that did that, right? So more sellers were in the market than buyers, and that's what drove the price from that high back down to the close. Same thing here. Even, even though this is a, a down candle, right? This has selling pressure. The high of that bar still was higher than where we opened. And so again, that is selling pressure from the high to the open of this down candle. We'll consider that selling pressure. And same thing on the bottom. So here we have buying pressure. So here this is the low of the candle and buyers came in and brought it back up here to the open. And if we look over here on the down candle, we had the low here, buyers came in and brought the price back up to the close. So we have, we have buying pressure on an up candle, we have selling pressure on a down candle the lower wicks represent buying power and the upper wicks represent selling power. And of course, the bigger the wicks, the bigger the selling or buying power in that particular bar. So it's something you always look at. Think about a number of different candlesticks that you've seen, especially at the top or bottom of a downtrend. Have you ever noticed that at the top of, a, of an uptrend, there's, there's sometimes a candle that has a big wick up to a high and then, but the actual candle itself is, is much lower than that, right? So, so as it kind, of, it kind of signals that that's kind of the end of that uptrend, right? So it got to a certain point and at that point, the sellers came in and said, okay, that's too high. They came in, they drove the price back down. And usually after you see something like that, the market will consolidate a little bit, even move lower. Right, so you always kind of look for those kinds of, of big, what we call big tail candles at the top or bottom of a trend, and it can it can be a it can be an indication that maybe that is the end of the buying pressure, the end of the selling pressure, and maybe we're going to consolidate for a while, or or maybe we're going to lose, move a little bit lower. So there's lots of different ways of of looking at at candles, lots of different patterns. Right now, we're not talking about any of the specific patterns. We're just talking about how the candles themselves provide some analytical information that we can use in our trading. So TradeStation has two candlestick styles. And what I'm showing you in the chart now is a, is a custom chart that I created to demonstrate uh, one of the classic ways that candlesticks are drawn and that is with hollow and filled bodies. So here I've made the, the candle all one color. And this is, this is actually, uh, this style is called candlestick with trend, but I've turned off the trend part of it by making all of the candles one color. So an up candle is a hollow candle. Anytime you see a hollow candle, that's an up candle. In standard candlesticks, that would be painted green, right? And a filled candle, a filled down candle uh, would normally be red. And, and in this case, it's, it's filled. So hollow candles are up, filled candles are down. 
And that's the, that's the classic way of looking at candlestick patterns. But TradeStation adds an additional element to this kind of candlestick chart called trend. And what we do is we paint the candles green or red if the close of the candle is higher than the previous close, then we paint it green. And if the close of the candle is lower than the previous candle, we paint it red. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Okay, so this is the two styles of candlesticks that are available in TradeStation. On the left-hand side is the standard candlestick where the body is either green or red. So if it's an up candle, it's green. If it's a, if it's a down candle, it's red. It makes it very easy. You can see the wicks there in gray up and down on each of those candles. And that's the standard uh, candlestick um, style that TradeStation has had for, you know, from the very beginning. And then early on in uh, uh, maybe, maybe 15 years ago, something like that, uh, we added candlestick with trend. Now notice the candlestick with trend chart is using that hollow and filled concept. But the, but the red and green co colors there do not represent whether it's an up candle or a down candle. The hollow and filled represent whether it's an up candle or a down candle. The green and red colors tell you whether the close was greater than the close of one bar ago. And right in the middle is a classic example here of a hollow candle that is red. So this was actually an up candle right here. And, oops, sorry. This is actually an up candle. You can tell that because it's hollow, right? And so the, the bottom of the body there is the open and the top of that hollow candle, that body is the close. So that's an up candle, but it's red. And the reason it's red is because the close of that candle is less than the close of the previous candle. So even though we had a positive open to close, we actually had a negative close to close. And that's why we paint it red. So that's the difference between the two. In the classic standard candlestick, red or green represents the whether it was an up or down body. But here, hollow and filled represent whether it's an up or down candle body. And the color represents whether the close was greater than the close of one bar ago. And if you don't like the trend, but you like the hollow and filled, you can do what I did here, is that you can set the color of the trend for up and down to the same color. I set it to white. And so then here, I'm not showing the, the trend, but I am showing the hollow and filled. So it's really up to you which, which kind of style that you like. And uh, that's one of the things about TradeStation, you get a, a lot of flexibility here. There's also a uh, candlestick uh, concept called Heikenashi that you may have heard of. And basically that just builds a different kind of candle based on a different type of algorithm. And uh, that's also uh, available in, uh, uh, in, in a number of different places. So you can download, that's a custom tool that you can download uh, into TradeStation. If you're interested in that, you can send me an email and I, I think I have a version of it somewhere on my computer if you're interested in Heiken Ashi and I can send that to you. Um, so so Bill, did I start, did, did you ask that question before I started asking that or did I anticipate your question? That's funny. So here's my email address. Um, and I'll find I'll find Heiken Ashi for you guys and, and send it to you. So just send me um, uh, send me a uh, an email and I'll I'll find it. I've got a couple of versions and and you can play with that. But Heiken Ashi is just a is a hybrid calculation and uh, some people think that it shows the trend of the candlestick better than just the the, the classic candlestick. So and you can Google that if you're and and learn about Heiken Ashi as well. Okay, so as I said earlier, um, built into TradeStation are a number of show me studies that have candlestick recognition. And, um, and here you can see in the uh, add studies dialog, you can see a list of those show me's and, and most of them as you can see, look for two or more uh, patterns. So for example, you can see here that this show me looks for a hammer and a hanging mat. So it will identify both of those in, in the chart with a show me dot. And if you look over here on the right, you can actually see those show me dots, what they look like. So I've, I've kind of set them up for different colors. 
but you can also hold your mouse button down on that bar and it will tell you what the what the pattern is that you found. And I'll show you that here in a second when we go to TradeStation. But I just wanted to show you real quick that you can right click in the chart or go to radar screen and you can add in any of these uh, show me studies that identify these different candlestick patterns, whichever ones you're interested in. And there's lots of great books on candlestick recognition, that kind of thing. So if you wanna learn more about this kind of analysis, there's, there's plenty of resources on, on the internet. Okay, so let's go to TradeStation. There we go. Can everybody see my screen? Okay. So I should be, you should be looking at TradeStation. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between my PowerPoint slide and, uh, and TradeStation, I know, but this is actually TradeStation. You can tell because there's, there's two workspaces down here. Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So here on uh, the right-hand side, I'm just gonna expand this chart for a moment. And I have a number of, of candlestick recognition tools inside here. Um, this, and we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. But here I just wanted to show you, this is uh, the standard candlestick chart. And you can always go to data and edit symbol. And under style, here you can see the two different types of candlestick charts that you can add to TradeStation. So this is the standard candlestick that we're looking at right now. I'm going to change this to candlestick with trend. Notice right below it here, it says bar components. This is where you set the color for the different components of the bar. So there's an uptrend, downtrend, and neutral. So notice that the uptrend is red, the downtrend is, I mean, the uptrend is green, the downtrend is red, and the neutral is a, is a gray color, right? So just remember that for a second here. So we're gonna click on okay. And now we're looking at the candlestick charts, but we're looking at it with trend. So anytime we have a hollow candle, that's an up candle. Anytime we have a, a filled candle, that is a down candle, but not always. So notice here, we have a filled candle that is green, which means that this was a down candle, but it gapped up and the close of this candle was still higher than the close of this candle, which made it green. So that can be a little confusing. I understand that. But once you once you get the concept, it, it becomes second nature to you. So so just, just want to, if I'm kind of go over this too many times, I apologize, but I just want to kind of drill that in, is that the candlestick concept is the hollow and filled now, and the color is the trend, not the candlestick. And I can prove that by going back to data and edit symbol and on the style of this candlestick i'm going to change this like i did before to just white so the uptrend is white the downtrend is white and now i've turned off that concept of trend because there's no color associated with it and now we're just looking at hollow and filled for up and down so there's a couple of different ways that that you can use these in, in format that's that's one of the the beauties of trade station right is that it's just unlimited you know, customization for, for any way you wanna look at the chart or look at your analysis. So there, there is the red and green concept again. Not sure why I picked pink there. Let's pick a different color, a little more red there. There's a better red, there we go. So you can make those any colors you want. All right, so that's the style of the chart. Two styles, standard candlesticks, red and green, candlestick with trend, hollow and filled, and the color is the trend. So here, um, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to edit studies because I've, I've put some candlestick show me's already into the chart. So we're looking for bullish and bearish engulfing. Uh, we're looking for hammers and hanging man, and we're looking for uh, morning star and, and evening stars. So one of the things you should know about candlesticks right off the bat is that they are generally reversing patterns, right? They are, they are typically used to identify turning points in the market. So you'll usually see bullish candlestick patterns at the bottom of trends and bearish candlestick patterns at the top of trends. Uh, if you see them in consolidation, they, they probably have less analytical value. If you see a candlestick pattern while the market is consolidating or in a squeeze type pattern. So if I right click in the chart, I can go to studies, add study. 
and go to show me. These are where the candlestick recognition are. And here you can see they all have a C underscore starting it. So they're all grouped together and you can select any of the different patterns, right? And so when you put them into the chart, you're going to see these little show me dots wherever one of those patterns is true. And if I left click and hold down my mouse button on that bar, notice at the bottom, it says bearish engulfing. And so it's telling me that that's a bearish engulfing pattern. And we can see that that is in fact a bearish engulfing pattern. The, the body of this candle is engulfing the entire body of the previous candle. So we have a bearish engulfing there. And it's in an uptrend at that point, right? So we're in an uptrend. We see the bearish engulfing, that's the pattern. Now it continued on here, but that's the pattern. Also notice that there's a number next to bearish engulfing. All that number represents is where that's being plotted on the chart. So inside of this indicator, it's, it's identifying that pattern. And then it says, I want to plot the dot at that price, which is the low of that bar. Notice that if you look in that, if you look in the dialogue there, notice the low of that candle is also the same price as the bearish engulfing. So a show me simply puts a dot at a price that identifies the condition. Uh, let's go over, here's a red one. So that is a hanging man. So here we have a hanging man pattern uh, that is a, a bearish pattern. Again, in an uptrend, remember we want to reverse. It identifies that pattern. And we have, an, we, what do we have here? So this is, this is a hammer, which is the opposite of the hanging man. So here, this is at the bottom of a downtrend. This is signaling a, a, bullish, a bullish pattern there, hammer. And that's the idea. And so whatever candlestick patterns that you're looking for, you can add them to the chart. And when those patterns hit, you'll get one of these little, one of these little dots here. And that's cool. However, what's even cooler is that I can put those same show me studies into radar screen. Now in radar screen, um, well, first of all, let's talk about how a show me works. So a show me works by looking for a pattern on a bar. And if that pattern is not true, then it doesn't draw the show me dot on the bar, right? That's why all these bars do not have dots on them. Only the only those bars that have the show me pattern true will actually have a little dot on them, right? So that's the idea. So, so in radar screen, think of it this way. Radar screen, each of these rows here is a chart. And what it's looking at is it's looking at the last bar in the chart, right? And so it's looking at all of these symbols on a daily chart. And it's looking to see if any of these patterns are currently active on that last bar in the chart. So here we're looking at Apple and you'll notice that all the cells for Apple for these patterns are blank. That's because there's no candlestick pattern currently on the last bar in Apple. But if we scroll down here a little bit, we might be able to see something here. What's happening here? Why am I? Here we go. It's filling in. So here, this is Microsoft. Microsoft has a hanging man pattern right there. Do you see that? So if I click on Microsoft, I can come over here. And there's that hanging man pattern right there. So it's able to identify for us in radar screen if we see a number in a cell, that means that it's that condition is true. Now the number doesn't mean anything, right? I could just as easily paint this uh, paint this cell red or green, or I could put in a I could put something in there that says um, I could put in there something that says hammer or or hanging man, right? But out of the box, if you insert those show me's into radar screen, this is what it looks like. So it's blank because the condition is not true. And when you see a number, you know that that condition is true. So here we have another hanging man. We can see it right there. So the reason you don't see it on the last bar is because we are waiting for the bar to completely form. So this is an in progress bar. So we're not gonna see the pattern on, on the current bar. So let me show you why that is. If I double click on that little dot in charting and go to general, see that it says update is unchecked. So it's not looking for it in real time.
but there's no reason why it couldn't, right? It's just that even though the, the pattern may become true during the bar, sometime during the day, but you just have to remember that at the end of the day, the market may have reversed and that pattern may not be true anymore at the end of the bar. But you can certainly look for that pattern on a tick by tick basis. So I'm going to turn that on here for, for this one. This is the hammer hanging man. And there's also a hanging man there in real time. We can also do that in radar screen. If I right click and I go to studies and edit for all symbols and go to general, I can turn that on here as well. And now we're scanning in real time for a hammer or a, or a hanging man. And there's a, and we can see that here, NVIDIA, not NVIDIA, um, uh, this is NXP semiconductors. Um, but you can see that in real time, there's a hanging man. And in real time over here in the chart, there's a hanging man. That is pretty cool. So you can scan in real time for candlestick patterns that are forming. And in the zip file that you have at the top of the chat is <clears throat> a is a workspace that I wrote many years ago to do just this work. Um, notice that in the chart, I'm actually identifying the, the candlestick patterns with their name. And in the chart, it's showing you everything. So this is looking for two dozen different candlestick patterns in real time. And it shows you what each of those patterns are within the chart. And then the radar screen is doing the same thing we just did in the previous radar screen, only it's showing you what the pattern is. So you don't have to put in multiple, you don't have to put in multiple show me's. This one column has all 24 patterns built into it. And it's, it's looking for all 24 patterns in real time. So here, this, this is showing, uh, these are some of the S and P sectors. This is the real estate sector. There's a hanging man there. So if I click that symbol here, notice over here in the chart, it, it shows me that, that pattern. And, uh, and so that's the idea. That's the idea. And so this workspace with the custom indicator for radar screen and for charting is built in to that zip file uh, up there at uh, in the top. And it's a great way of learning about uh, candlestick patterns and seeing which ones you think work or don't work. Um, it's, it's, that's the kind of that's the kind of uh, analysis that you can do here. And you don't have to guess what the candlestick patterns are. It shows you historically what those, what those are. All right, so that is what I have for you today uh, regarding candlestick analysis. Um, so let me see if I can answer a couple of questions here. Um, I'm going to go to... Um, um, so yes, Ash, this this session, like all the sessions here in the masterclass, are recorded and they'll be available uh, from uh, your member dashboard for masterclass, and you'll be able to watch this again. Of course, if you if you don't have the zip file, um, you can always send me an email, mburke at tradestation.com. I'll be happy to to send you that zip file. Um, so Brian. Um, the scroll bar sometimes doesn't scroll and won't move to the show the full history. That, that uh, I'm not really sure what you're experiencing there. A couple of things I would try. Always use the up and down arrow keys to kind of squeeze the data together before you move the, the scroll bar. Also, you may need to add more history to the chart. Maybe there's not as much history as you think. Again, that you can go to the data and edit symbol. And on the settings tab, you can add more data. So try that as well. Um, if you continue to have problems with that, I, I would I would suggest um, uh, I would suggest maybe calling customer support. I don't know why you're having that problem, but um, I've never had a problem where I couldn't scroll back through the through the history. So um, we we would need to identify that. So that's a if that's a problem you're having, um, I would I would I would really like you to call customer support and see if they can work through that. Maybe it's something that we need to to look at. Um, 
So Gary, do I think that candlestick patterns are profitable? So for the most part, um, uh, you know, candlesticks are just usually used as part of other analysis. Uh, most traders, I don't think, use candlestick patterns exclusively to enter or exit a position. I think they use them as as a as a filter or um, as maybe a, a way of confirming other analysis that that they're doing. One of the great things about TradeStation is that you can actually backtest to see whether a particular pattern has been successful or not on a particular symbol in a particular interval. Um, if you right click in the chart uh, and go to studies and then go to add strategy, um, here in the built-in strategies, um, there are uh, a couple of um, different uh, custom strategies like strat custom strategy LE, custom strategy LX. You can insert these custom strategies into the chart and the inputs for those strategies can be the same functions of candlesticks that we use in the show me. So you could actually, without a lot of programming or no programming, you could test a particular pattern and see what that performance was historically. I, I don't really have a, um, uh, I really don't have a strong sense of whether these are profitable or not by themselves. My my instincts tell me that they they need to be used with with uh, different analysis and and. Uh, and in conjunction with with additional analysis. So so Gary, yeah, the, the download, it will be available. That zip file will be a bit available later for download. If you can't download it right now, if you're on your phone or something uh, and you can also you can always email me. Right. And I'll send you that zip file. So, Brian, the sounds for notifications won't play. Um, can you send me an email about that? And let me do a little bit of research on that. I'm not sure why that would be happening. I have not seen that happen. So please send me that. Also, um, today at 11 o'clock, we are doing an Ask, uh, Ask the Experts session, which will be kind of a Q&A for 30 minutes. So, um, if you have if you have additional questions or um, there's something that I didn't cover in this one, uh, at 11 o'clock you can come back in and uh, ask some questions, and uh, and to, and we'll try to get through as as many of those questions as we can. Uh, like in this session, if I if I don't know the answer to your question, um, I I would ask you to send me that uh, question in an email, and I'll get it to the right person who can in fact uh, answer that question. I've been here with TradeStation for uh, for 23 years, and there are still questions uh, after 23 years that I can't answer. There's just just so much of the platform, and uh, and right now I, I've got to be careful that if I learn if I try to remember too much about TradeStation, I'm going to forget where I live. So um, it's a uh, there's a lot to the to the platform, and uh, we'll make sure there's 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 a lot of people here who have uh, who are, who definitely are are great resources that I can tap into to answer any questions. So we'll do that. So, so Brian, um, one of the ways that you can prevent the symbol from changing is that um, when you, when you change the symbol in a multi data chart um, or in multiple workspaces, um, you need to check two things. One is, um, what is the window linking uh, for for each of those workspaces? Are you using local window links or are you using global window links? So here, if you click on the SRI, you can kind of specify whether that's a local link to the workspace or it's a um, if it's a global link that will work across multiple workspaces. So again, that's let me let me think about that a little bit and I will. I'll see if I can come up with a better better answer for you. But generally speaking, um, generally speaking, another thing to think about in workspaces, if you have a workspace that you have set up as, um, you know, like a, it's a workspace that you wanna bring up every morning.
But during the day, you're making changes to the workspaces. You're changing symbols. Maybe you're deleting a window or adding a window. But every morning, you want that workspace to look exactly the same as you originally built it. So one of the things that um, we're all kind of programmed to do is that when we exit TradeStation, it asks you if you want to save your work. You know, we're all programmed to say, yes, of course, I want to save my work. But sometimes you want to say, no, I don't want to save that workspace because I want it to come back tomorrow morning in the same pristine condition that I, I created it in. So one of the things to, to think about is that if you have a workspace and you don't want to have changes to it, don't, don't save it during the day. Don't save it when you close down TradeStation. And that way, that workspace will always come back the same way that that you that you brought it up. Yeah. So Brian, we have by default, by by default, the trade bar always changes to the active symbol. So that's a feature of the platform. There's no way to turn that off. So I'm not I'm not sure. Whatever the active symbol is, it changes the trade bar. And that's we we kind of we kind of the idea there is that if you're looking at a chart with a symbol, that's probably the next symbol that you want to trade, and that's why we do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll I don't I don't think there's a way to do that, Brian. I'll 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 research that, but I'm pretty sure that that's just the way it works. Phil, absolutely. Candlestick patterns can be scanned in the scanner using those same show me's. So basically, yes, you can you can say I want that candlestick pattern to be true, and it will it will find in all of the symbols that you're scanning whether that pattern is true. Let me show you that real quick. I'm gonna go to scanner. Let's just quick create a quick one real fast. We'll just call this candle. And we'll just pick a small number of stocks. We'll pick uh, NASDAQ. And here's the criteria. So let's kind of, um, let's kind of narrow this down a little bit. So we're going to say we want the last price to be less than, let's say, hundred dollars a share and we only want to look at stocks where uh, the volume for the last 10 days let's see 10 day average is greater than let's say 500,000 shares so at least there's some volume here and then we're going to scan for a candlestick pattern. And so I'm going to click on select criteria. And at the very bottom of the select criteria list are the indicators. And here I'm going to click on show me. And here we have the different patterns. So I'm going to click on C underscore kicking. Click OK. And I'm going to open this up. And we're going to see the different criteria. We're going to see it's daily, right? And so here we're going to look for bullish kicking. And if that plot is true. See, notice how it won't let me pick anything but what makes sense here. So if that's true, then we'll see a list of symbols. I'm going to run this. So there's 678 symbols that meet our criteria for price and volume. And now Easy Language is going through the remaining 600 symbols. It's loading enough historical data to calculate that pattern. And then when this is done, we'll get a list of those symbols that meet that criteria. So no custom programming was required here. We're just looking for that pattern to be true. So 
So, so Brian, that's a great question. One of the great things about TradeStation desktops and workspaces is that, that is they are completely portable. So you can drop a workspace into an email, send it to your friend. If they have TradeStation, they can open up that workspace just the way it appeared on your computer. Uh, the only caveat to that is that um, if there's any custom easy language, you also have to send them the custom easy language so that, that those tools uh, can be imported before they open the workspaces. So ease, custom easy language does not get saved with the workspace, but certainly all the other workspaces as well. So that's one of the great things about TradeStation is I can, like in the zip file that I, I put in the chat, it has my workspaces and my custom easy language. You can download that, install the ELD and open up my workspaces exactly the way you see it here. And uh, that makes my life very easy, by the way. It is It, it has made my life very easy over the last last the last 20 years so that I can share my work really easy with customers. So I probably should have narrowed this down a little more than 600 symbols. But if you think about it, it's pretty amazing. It's creating 678 charts. <clears throat> it's loading enough data for each of those. And then um, it's calculating whether or not that pattern is true or not for those symbols. And the beauty of this is that once this loads, and hey, we found we found two symbols that match that criteria right there. And the beauty of this is that if I ran the scan again, that data is already there for those symbols. So it, it'll go much faster the next time I scan for uh, for that, that same criteria. Those same 600 symbols already have their daily data already loaded, and it will it will do that. So. So then here I can I can copy that symbol and I can paste it here into the chart and we can look at that symbol and that pattern. I don't have kicking built into this indicator, by the way. So this is my custom candlestick. Um, it doesn't have kicking into it. I, I can add that, I guess. I need to update this anyway. So maybe that's something I'll do and I'll, I'll post that in the download uh, in the masterclass channel. Well, thank you for watching session one of Technical Analysis in TradeStation. Be sure to watch all of the videos in this series and be sure to check out Technical Analysis in TradeStation 201 on the Masterclass channel.